The deadliest mass shooting took place on Sunday night after a deranged anti-Trump psychopath savagely opened fire on a music festival from the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino, killing 59 and injuring 527 others. Now almost 48 hours after the tragic event shook America, we're now learning about the direct link that Obama had to the shooter that the mainstream media is frantic to keep buried. For the past eight years, Barack Hussein Obama did everything in his power to destroy our country by dividing Americans along political, racial, and economic lines. After taking sledgehammer to our country and our constitution, Obama then gave America one final parting gift in the final days of his presidency, where he secretly funneled billions of dollars to radical left-wing activist groups. Groups like Antifa have now rapidly risen to power thanks to Obama where these domestic terrorists are now serving as the militant wing of Obama's shadow government. Now Obama has the blood of Americans on his hands yet again, after what was just discovered about the deranged Las Vegas shooter. As soon as the name of the shooter was revealed by authorities on Monday, we began taking a closer look into the background of Stephen Paddock where we discovered through conservative investigator Stephen Halfley from Millwrightite.com that the shooter was allegedly an anti-Trump activist who attended an anti-Trump event back in August. But as soon as Halfley's video began to go viral and was picked up by other credible news sources, the video evidence was immediately yanked from YouTube, as liberals are frantically trying to censor all negative information about the shooter. Here's several screenshots proving that the video was removed and censored by YouTube. As the liberal media tries desperately to paint the shooter as a right-wing extremist, the latest groundbreaking detail we just learned about the shooter as well as his direct ties to Obama will be an absolute nightmare for the line and crooked media to contend with. Inside sources within the FBI hostage rescue team that they are now revealing that they found Antifa propaganda littered throughout the hotel room. An unfortunate fact for Obama who was busted by congressional investigators several months ago for funding radical left-leaning groups. Obama's Benghazi partner in crime, Hillary Clinton, has blood on her hands too, as she was busted for giving Antifa terrorists around $800,000, although liberal fact-checkers like Snopes will try and deny this as the truth. The time for a scoffing at Antifa whom many disregard as kids playing dress-up from the headquarters of their mom's basements, is over. Thanks to the funding they're receiving by Obama and pals, one of their very own members was able to pull off the deadliest mass shooting in United States history. What's incredibly chilling is that five days before the massacre took place, conservative commentator Steven Crowder released an undercover video of Antifa after he and another member of his investigation team were able to successfully infiltrate the terror group after six months of going undercover with false identities. Members of the group admitted that the entire premise of the group was to fight fascists, Antifa members term for conservatives, by whatever means possible, where they're actively plotting to take people out with violence, and are attempting to start a civil war. One Antifa member was secretly recorded handing out knives to other members in order to stab anyone showing up to oppose them. Stephen Crowder exposed. Crowder begins the expose by explaining that his team of reporters has been infiltrating this organization for a long time, hard. The result is evidence that is so damning that the authorities ended up thanking Crowder and his team for their work. Are they really an inconsequential group of rabble-rousers? asked Crowder of the group that has been championed by so many on the left. As the video shows, and as so many around the country have learned over the last year, the answer is a resounding no. By the end of the investigation, Crowder handed over all his evidence to authorities in order to stop the Antifa terrorists from carrying out their planned attacks on Americans. Many of the group members were arrested. But Crowder was extremely frustrated as to why the mainstream media would not pick up on his story. Crowder says they immediately gave the police the video evidence of the violence the Antifa members were planning. But when Crowder tried to get some of the media to find out more about what his team uncovered, reporters were strangely uninterested in learning about the violent leftist group. Crowder concludes the video by asking, is the media complicit in all of this, or do they just suck at their jobs? Being that Obama is tied to these radical leftist groups. 
The fact that an Antifa member successfully pulled off the largest massacre in U.S. history is extremely unsettling. With the mainstream media doing everything in their power to censor the truth, it's up to Americans to help spread the truth about what's really going on, as Obama stages his political comeback this fall. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to my channel.